All right, we've made it to measure 12. So for these next few lines, let me give you some advice. This very first shift that we have in measure 12, I would go over it a bunch. I want to make sure that I don't have a slurpy slide. So to avoid that, I pick up my fingers when I want to shift, glide them along the string, and then plop them back down. My fingers are just kind of ghosting to that next position. And um, I would practice going back and forth between anywhere we have to shift in this etude. Um, there aren't that many places, luckily. This etude is mostly in first position, with some extended fourth fingers, and just a few tiny shifts to second position and third position. But definitely go over them, back and forth. Another thing you want to check for in this first measure is that that G matches your open G string. And then that next third, that A, matches your A string. Actually, anywhere in this etude you have an open string note, a G, a D, an A, or an E, check with your open strings.